Ready? Ready! Three, two, two one, one, enter! enter. Hey, oh. We're in your folder, baby! Oh my gosh, sure locked! Look, we did it, you guys! In Chad's video, we found all these clues that lead us to find the Sherlock password that unlocked the V folder. Let's find out what the heck is going on! Yeah, let's click into your folder, V. Here we go. Oh my gosh, there's files in here. You've got a Subject 22 folder, too. I thought you were Subject 22. Let's check it out. Okay. It's a text document. GKC has successfully moved the quaint family from Vietnam to Minnesota. What? And why would they pick Minnesota? Well, because I was born there and grew up there. What does this mean for us? Does that mean that they wanted me to meet you somehow? Did they set this whole thing up? What are the chances that this GKC company has been tracking you and me and somehow we ended up getting married together? It's just not probable. Oh my gosh, there's just so much going on right now, V. We need to find more information. Maybe Daniel and Regina found something out. Let's go upstairs and call them, okay? Okay, okay, I need some fresh air anyways. <laughs> Come on, answer. Hey, guys. Daniel! Still in the bathroom. Doesn't look very clean. People keep knocking on the door and I can't tell if they're hackers or what. Oh man. I'm staying in here. Okay, maybe just hold your breath though. Hello? Where are you, Regina? Hi. You like it? All I see is um, brown. I'm in a cardboard box. Why? Is this another Airbnb that you're staying in? I'm really close to the Black Pyramid right now and I needed cover. That's why I'm in a cardboard box. I'm hacking onto the phone lines of the hackers trying to see what their plans are with Perlita. Okay, Daniel, Regina, we believe that Subject 22 is me and we think that Project Zorgo and GKC are somehow all related. Did Project Zorgo or GKC convince my family to move somehow? Project Zorgo has been controlling your life ever since you were a little wee lass. Maybe your parents are... Project Zorgo members. Don't say that, Regina. That's impossible. I refuse to believe that. Either Project Zorgo is trying to tear us apart or they are controlling our lives. We have to figure out what the heck is going on. Once we figure out this whole Perlita situation, she's the one living underneath the safe house and has all this stuff on the computer. She must know everything about this. We just gotta find her. Did you guys have any leads or anything yet on her? Guys, I've been out here for hours and I haven't heard Project Zorgo talk about Perlita once. All the hackers keep talking about is some dumb like ninja move training course. They won't shut up about it. Daniel, I don't even know why you're still in that bathroom. What are you even doing right now? I'm scared, man. There could be a hacker on the other side of the door. I heard a big plop. Ah, oh, Daniel. Daniel's just taking a big dump. No, that wasn't me. It's someone knocking at the door right now. Guys, I gotta go. Chad, let's go on the internet and look for a compatibility test or something to see if we're meant to be together. Okay, I'm scrolling, looking. Ooh, what's this? Oh, look at this. We can order an expert to come over to our house and give us the test. Right here, okay, right here. Compatibility expert comes to your house and tests you to show how compatible you are for marriage. Cool. That's perfect for us. All right, ordering. And now we just gotta wait for them to show up. Close the doorbell. Okay. It must be the compatibility expert, dude. Or it could be a hacker. See a person. Just be prepared for a battle royale chat. But I'm pretty sure it's the compatibility expert we ordered to make sure that we're supposed to be together. Dax! Wait, Wait Dax! Sorry, man, we're a little bit busy right now. We ordered a compatibility expert to come and give us a task to make sure we're supposed to be married. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, come on in, I guess. Uh -huh. What do you got there? You're here to play games or something, Dax? Yeah, we don't do game nights anymore. It's been too busy. I am the compatibility expert. What? what? No, don't be pranking us now. This is a serious matter. V and I need to make sure that we're supposed to be together. Dude, it's called a side hustle. I just find any job I can, and one of those is a compatibility expert. Oh, oh man. I want to have like a real compatibility test. I want to make sure that V and I, you know, are supposed to be together. I don't know if you're qualified, Dax. Have no worries, Vi. I mean, you should look at my resume. It's V and it's resume. Like this proctored exam to test your compatibility is created by PhDs. Doctors? Doctors? B, do you trust this? I mean, if it's developed by doctors, I trust them. And Dax is probably just repeating what they're doing. I've gone through a four week training course to give you this test. And I've also been through multiple girlfriends. So I know what compatibility is like. Wow. Oh. Okay, I trust you now. If you've gone through four weeks of training and this test was created by doctors, I think we can take it. So I want to see if me and V are compatible. There are three aspects to this test to see your compatibility. Okay. All right. <laughs> <sighs> oh, a note card. This first test is to see how physically compatible you guys are. It will involve a, a, a con, conjoined. Con, conjoined twin 
obstacle course. Wait, what? Why is there a physical test, Dax? Because love transcends more than just the mind. All right, I trust you, Dax. Let's do it. Cool. Let's make an obstacle. Obstacle, you mean? This obstacle course is super long, Dax. Just like the duration of your relationship. So we're gonna crush this test, Chad. Yeah. Crush it together as one. Woo. Yes. Uh, okay, Dax, how do we do this course here? Pants. Just put your legs in these pants. Uh huh. Okay. I see. A three legged race. Okay, we've heard of that before. I'll film it. So nice of you, Dax. Here you go, Dax. Isn't this fun? Really so fun, fun, Dax. So We're conjoined twins. Look at you guys. If you can complete this course in two minutes, back and forth. What? Because love is a circle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we are ready, Dax. Three. Two, one. Oh, <laughs> go. <laughs> I forgot the word go. <laughs> Let's go yeah, go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. Wait, it's easier for you because you're small. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's go, let's left, go, let's go. Left, left, left. Right. left. Okay. No, around the cups. We did. Right, go around left. Yeah. Oh, 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 these are tight. God. These are tight turns. They're oh not my gosh. that tight. There's plenty of room, Chad. Jump. Jump. Okay. Jump in. One, two, three. Oh. Around the flag! Bigger step. Okay. There you go. Jump! 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 One, two, One, two three. three! I'm so tired, me! One, One, two, three! three. Yeah. This is hard! It's way Our... harder than it looks, Dax! Our legs are different lengths! I'm like two feet taller than V. It's not okay. a good sign for your uh, compatibility. I know! Uh, Our heights are not very compatible. Oh my gosh! We're almost there, V. Oh my gosh! Ah. No, no, this way! Ah. No, the other way! No! no. Ah, oh, me! Oh, we made it! Oh, oh. oh my gosh! Wow! That means we're compatible! We are compatible! Yes! We're, I told you we were meant to be together, V! Meant to be with V! Wait. What? what? Oh, next test. We'll crush any test you throw at us, Dax, because we are compatible. Okay, boy and girl, our next challenge is gonna be. Uh, Makeup challenge. <laughs> a makeup challenge? What? How is that gonna show if we're compatible with one another or not? Whenever you get into like arguments, uh -huh. you have to make up. So therefore, you're gonna apply makeup to your partner's faces. <laughs> and you did not write this test yourself. It was written by doctors, you said? It's written by PhDs. Yeah, that's doctors, I think, yeah. We already know that Chad's gonna look gorgeous if you apply the makeup. Thanks, Dax! Then Chad is gonna apply makeup to, to you. Oh, Chad, you can do this, right? You watched my makeup videos before. Um, I'm just warming up my vocals. Chad, are you serious? I did a ton of makeup videos. Are you telling me you did not watch any of my videos? I do not wear makeup, so therefore. He, he's also a guy, if you didn't notice. I gotta apply makeup on V, okay? Time to beautify. All right, you hold the camera, Dax. Yippee, Skippy. I guess Chad has like two minutes again. Two minutes? Are you kidding me? Dump it out, V. Okay, the two minutes isn't starting yet. Most important thing is eyeshadows, brows, lips. Whoa. Oh, oh, you broke it! I broke it? What? Oh, jeez, here. Are you Here's serious? Yes. Isn't that how a pencil works? This is not gonna go well. Okay. Here's a backup. Okay, what do I do? No. Chad! Look at this! You broke it again! Stop Chad, going, here, it. just... Here. Gosh. Let's color some brows in here. Oh, they're already done, so maybe we can skip this test, right? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, timer starts. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Don't make me look too angry. Eyebrows are really cool when they have like an arch. Yeah, arches like McDonald's arches. Oh no. Look how cool that is right there. Eyeshadows now. Oh, okay. This one here says dance party. Cause V is such a good dancer. Oh yeah. The trick is you gotta apply a little at a time and yep. then you layer on. I don't know if you're doing a good job. <laughs> there we go. That looks awesome. Does it? I gotta use some fire. Fire! This makeup look is gonna be lit. Sometimes I would do like the bottom row too, a little bit. Just but like just a little bit though. You know, Close your eyes. just a, a little. <sighs> Me, this was really bad advice. Cause now it looks like you have black eyes. Do I, Dex? Not bad. This is looking pretty cool. Drop the base. Drop the base. Yeah, you look so good. I can't believe my first time doing makeup, I'm already like the next James Charles. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what James Charles always do? He always do contouring. Contour. I gotta go like this. 
Ooh. Gotta go bloop like that, mm -hmm. and a little bloop like that. Mm -hmm. Now, we blend it. Look at that, Dax. There we go, there we go, that's something. She already has a really little nose, so we're gonna just do it very subtle. Yeah. Gonna blend in a downward motion. Now, blush. I'm gonna do a mix of colors, just like this. Gosh, Photoshop is way easier than this. Oh my gosh, that went on strong. I think I'm good. Okay. Now we need to blend it. You want it to look like you're not even wearing makeup, just a natural beauty, you know? Whoa. Right. These make you look like you have long eyelashes. Mm -hmm. You're gonna use a little baby glue for a little baby lash. You don't want it to fall off, right? Oh my gosh. How do you think Chad is doing right now? I'm not sure about his blending mode. Ready? Okay, gotta close my eyes first. Close oh, your eyes. Wait, wait, is it bad, Dex? Yeah, this is scarier than some horror movies I've watched. Okay, you gotta like blow on it so it dries. So good. I think it's still pretty wet, so I'll just apply my lipstick on. If battling Project Zorgo doesn't work out for you. My next career move. Good choice, Chad, red. The important part of this is getting the lip line. You gotta get a good lip shape. Stay in the lines, you know? Are you doing it right? V, all V. What? Look what happened. What happened? Is it on my teeth? No. Oh. If you would stop talking, oh, v, okay, okay. the master could do his job. Okay. Luscious lips is what all the ladies want, right? And Carla lips. The duck lips. Okay, she's talking. No, yeah. Okay, sorry. So, V, now you gotta go. Perfect, perfect. Let me do a little cleanup. Oh, no. Ah, no! No! Yes, this is how the pros do no. it. No! Oh, that's not sanitary. No. You're scared of his saliva. Oh, did you go a little bit outside the line or something? When you were talking. Oh, sorry. Now I need to make it last. Like our relationship. Yeah. This is a setting spray to Close talk everything. Ah! <laughs> that's why Chad! you don't talk during the makeup routine. You're supposed to warn me. Gosh, that went I, in my mouth. I did. I said, stop talking. Oh. Let's keep going. How much time oh, I got? Oh, actually. We went over, I wasn't paying attention. You went over the time limit? I'm sorry. Okay. Dax, so that's okay. Okay, no. cut. In the beauty videos, usually they have a reveal. So oh, it's like a turnaround and you get into like this nice beauty mode. Oh. Like, Let's do it. Let's do it. And then you're like, now he's like this. Whoa. Okay, too, too close, okay. Uh, I'm ready to see my makeup look. There's a mirror right behind me over here. She's gonna be able to see herself. Prepare to be amazed. Okay, okay. I feel beautiful. Let's, here we go! Oh my god! Chad, what club am I going to with this? She loves it! I look like a clown! You didn't even blend at all, look at this! Oh my no. god. I look like I belong in a horror movie. The lashes, look at that, they're not even on the lips. They're not even on correctly. Well, I Wait. mean, you were talking while I was putting that on. I didn't get any on your teeth. Oh yeah. Those look good. <laughs> Do you still love each other? Yeah. Seriously, if I wear this makeup look every day, you still love me? Well, of course, it's not about how you look, it's about how you act. <laughs> Well, she's not Don't get your makeup on my shirt. What was the point of this test, Dax? The whole point of this challenge was to see how well you guys worked as a team. Knocked it out of the park. Yeah, 10 out of 10. I don't think it was very successful. Why? Even if we didn't win the makeup round, we'll win the third round. Let's just move on to the next one so V doesn't have the chance to destroy you. Because I will. Okay, next challenge. Okay, lady and gent, our next challenge is... Extreme who knows me better challenge. We know each other better than any two people know each other. Am I right, B? Uh, yeah, but you did this to me, so I don't know, Chad. Just because I don't know how to do makeup doesn't mean I don't know what's in the brain. We're gonna nail this. That's what I like to hear. I'm just gonna ask some questions and you're gonna put your answers and they should match. If it doesn't, you're gonna have to do a challenge on the Wheel of Doom. Uh-oh. What? What is this, Dax? Mystery box. Shave. I already shaved, so I'm good, thanks. Fish guts. Mayo bath. Oh my gosh, I don't even oh, want to okay. know what else is on this thing. Let's just get this over with. We're gonna win this, We chat. can't get a single thing wrong, because I don't want to do any of those. Yeah, three. I don't want to do any of those either. Okay. Let's go. This first one, both of you guys are gonna write, and if you have the same answer, well, that's good. Who is the better hacker between Daniel and Regina? <laughs> oh, you mean Regina? Regina. Done. That was an easy question. 
Yes, it was easy. I am done. I hope you picked the right one, Chad, because there's only one right answer. Three, two, one. Uh, v! Chad! Daniel's the better hacker! No, Regina is! She's faster and she's way better at it. But he was PZ1, he was the first one. Do you even watch our videos? Yes. Regina's the one that's always solving all the hacking stuff. Daniel's always going like, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. That's Regina! Oh, yeah. No, Chad, this is the right answer right here. There's no right answer except for the one that the Wheel of Doom gives. Oh, oh man! Please do not land on fish guts or pie in the face. I do not want to get that right now. If you know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying. Oh, oh what's that? That's a mystery box. Uh, not to be confused with Mr. E. Yeah, I wasn't confused. Sorry about that mission. I feel like I just look shock all the time. I'm not. Just letting you know. I'm gonna put something strange and unusual and weird in this box, uh -huh. and you're gonna put your hand in it. Bonus points if you can guess what it is, though. No problem. Cool. Why are you smiling, V? Do you know what it is? No, but I'm enjoying your punishment because this is already a big punishment enough. It's slimy! It's wet! Oh, ah, oh, yeah. Feels like fish guts. Oh my gosh. It's fish guts, isn't it? There's like little grainy grains. Oh, it stinks. Oh. It does? So why do I gotta guess this correctly? What do I get? You get appreciation from all the viewers. That's it. It's uh, slimy vegetables. Whoa. Ew. Uh, oh. Is it tomatoes? Diced tomatoes. <laughs> so I was kind of right, slimy vegetables. Actually, I thought tomatoes were like fruits. The second question is gonna be for V to guess. What do you think Chad's greatest accomplishment is? <laughs> All right, let's see what V guessed. Chad's greatest accomplishment. Yes. <gasps> oh, finding, finding your soulmate, soulmate V. Bye. Let's see, I wrote. <gasps> marrying V! Yay! Yeah, 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 we got it, that counts as, that counts as correct, right, yes. Dax? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Question three. three. Tied up right now, we got one wrong and one right. Yeah, this next one is for Chad to guess about V. When was V most afraid? Oh, mm. that's an easy one. Mm. You better get this one right, Chad. Now you're making me think extra hard, V. I'll tell you when V was most afraid. Well, remember when I went out on a date with BZ409? That's the most time she was ever afraid. She was like, oh, I hope Chad doesn't fall in love and leave me. Wow. Are you serious, bro? You think I'm threatened by 409? I can't believe you would think this of me. I am not this petty because the answer is this. The swim challenge? I'm afraid of water. And that one challenge that we did, I even cried, Chad. Okay, so go spin this doom wheel. Me? Yeah, because you got it wrong. Man, this game's rigged. Maybe your relationship is rigged. Oh. Wait, what have you heard, Dax? What do you mean? Well, we know that you've worked a little bit with Project Zorgo in the past. Have you heard something about that? No, I was just trying to make a clever joke for the laughs. Spin it to win it! Although, there's nothing on here worth winning, is there, Dax? No. Roast! Like a pot roast? No. Are you cooking me dinner tonight? Yeah. I could do that. No. Just do like a PZ9 thing and make fun of Chad, that's it. Oh, that oh. kind of roast. Okay, I gotta channel PZ9 because he's really good at roasting. He's always like, ha, ha! Like that, right? He's super crazy. I'm I mean, scared. <laughs> I look crazy right now already. Chad! Yes? Whenever you go down the hatch, you gotta suit up in your yellow hazmat suit, uh -huh. your red shoes, and you look like Ronald McDonald! Burn! Hey! Yeah! I do now look like Ronald McDonald! With your hey. clown shoes, hey. with they're huge, and they're big, and they're red. And you know what else, Chad? What? You're so tall, you used to be the mascot for Toys R Us! Yeah! <laughs> Yeah! Jeffrey the Giraffe? Yeah, we don't oh, even know his name? Man. <laughs> Loser. Okay, next question. Okay. 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 The, okay. The, the, uh, uh, which of the spy ninjas, current spy ninjas, 
stinks. <laughs> None of them stink. Yeah. The question is for both of you, so I hope you're on the same brain length. None of the spy ninjas stink. This is a trick question. I actually have an answer for that. Fine, if I have to pick somebody. You guys have like spy ninja cologne? Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Turn. Whoa. Danny! Boy, symbol for boy. Look what I wrote. I wrote Daniel. I drew a little trash can. There's Danny boy. He's always hanging out in trash cans. That's why he's the stinkiest. I don't think you're stinky, Daniel, but only when you come out of the trash can, then you might be a little stinky. I agree with that. Oh, we got one geez. right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, uh, oh, my uh, gosh. Uh, uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, Chad. Well, maybe we're just not compatible. Ah, uh, there, there. You have two right and two wrong. So this fifth and final question will be to determine if you are compatible. <laughs> Who is the hacker that you would like to befriend the most? <laughs> I don't want to be friends with any hackers, okay, Dax? I got a question for you, Spy Ninjas. I want to know what you think. Which hacker would you be friends with? Leave a comment down below. I'm going to feature some of your comments in a future video. Okay, V, who did you think I would be friends with? PZ76. Well, why? And I feel like you would want to be friends with somebody who's really good at fighting. So you're saying I would want to be friends with these sneaky, sneaky, slithering hackers. If I were to be friends with any hacker, I would want to be friends with a hacker who could help me with my homework. PZ314, because he's the smartest and he knows math and he does all the accounting and the book work. That means we didn't get it right. That means you didn't get it right. So you gotta spin the wheel of doom. Let's do this. Hi in the face. Well. My face is already has enough punishment enough for today. I have to put it in your face. It's the rules of the game. Do it. Give this video a big old like right now for a pie in the face. Subscribe for love. Take your phone, turn it up this way, and you'll see a subscribe link. If it's red, click it, make it turn gray. For and love. make sure that bell is ringing, just like that. Ding, ding. I have a pie. Ah. I have a wife. <laughs> Wait, did you do it? Oh! I couldn't breathe, Chad. Hi, face oh wife. I couldn't breathe. That was so much. You couldn't breathe. And it went off my nose, practically drowning on thick water. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> I wasn't ready for that, Dax. I think she cheated the game. This isn't right. I think she's not compatible with anybody. That concludes your guys' test. All right, so did we win? What's the result? Come on, Dax. What's the result, Dax? This is the part where I have to calculate the totals. I'll be back with the results shortly. Here you go. Look at us, the love bugs. Oh cover. my gosh. Hey, my makeup job was better than this makeup job. Am I right? I look like the Joker. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, you're a very patchy Joker. Yeah. Uh oh, I'm losing some of my... Oh, uh. oh. Hey, Dax is back. Uh. You got those test results? Yeah, I have them right here. Here you go, guys. Okay, ooh, the sealed results. I'm gonna go home. Thank you, Dax, you did a great job. Just make sure to sign the invoice and leave a five-star review on Yelp, please. It'll you got it, Dax. Two thumbs up. Okay, thanks, bye. See ya, Dax. Bye, Daxton. Here's the results, V. The test results that are gonna show. Are we meant to be together? Are we supposed to be boyfriend and girlfriend, husband and wife? Soulmates. Soulmates. I don't know, I'm kind of afraid, Chad. Really shouldn't matter what this piece of paper ran by Daxton. But said. it was developed by doctors, so it's probably accurate test but results. But doctors that don't really know us. We know each other, right? Yeah, but we took the test. You look really good right now, V. I gotta say, look at this. No, I don't want to look at my face. Okay, don't. It makes me sad. It makes me happy. Aw, that's sweet. Oh. These stinking test results. We know that we're compatible. We've been together forever. I know in my heart we're meant to be together. Oh, like that. That's a big heart. That's right. It's got a big heart it's filled with love for V. Hold the camera, V. Because. Oh! You almost gave me a paper cut on my face. Oh, my gosh. Like it deserves any more punishment today. Oh, my gosh. Are you laughing? 
Chill. Oh my gosh, me, you're so funny. That's one of the reasons why I love you so much. You always make me laugh. You always freak out about things. You almost got a paper cut, and look how much you make me laugh about oh, it. You're God. the best. I don't need no stinking test results to tell me we're meant to be together. These stinking test results belong in the Daniel's hiding spot. The garbage. Sloop. I don't even want to look at those, V. We just know we're together, together, forever, meant to be, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I can't speak English either. You're rubbing off on me. What matters is what's in our hearts. That's we right. love being together. That's right. Look how good ha -ha. we look together. We look great together, especially with pie all over our face. Uh -oh. I can't open my eyes. I I'll just take your word for it because it's burning my eyeballs. Oh, we're so good together. Shout out to all you notification ninjas who get here in the first 60 minutes. We're showing a bunch of your comments right here. Uh, I'm doing this job for her. Because I'm too busy <laughs> loving you. Oh, you're so cute. Next video is going to be on Daniel's channel. Make sure to click it somewhere around here. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to Chad, Daniel, and Regina. And let's kick bump out. I can't see. Kick bump. Oh, kick bump. <laughs> V's a little bit busy right now. I don't know what she's doing, but my curiosity is getting the best of me. I want to know if we're compatible or not. Here they are. I really don't care what it says. You know, I know that me and V belong together. Don't you think so? Dear Chen V, thank you for our at-home compatibility tests. According to our findings, the results are negative for compatibility. We're not compatible with each other? Oh shoot, V's coming. Back in the garbage. I took off my makeup and all the whipped cream off of my face. This whole entire compatible test thing, it doesn't really matter, but I, I kind of just want to know. I mean, are we really compatible with each other? Just gonna do it. Ugh, I gotta do a Daniel thing right now. There it is, you guys. Okay, okay, remember, it doesn't matter. This test says we're not compatible. It doesn't matter, it's just a stupid, silly test. Oh crap, I think Jack's coming. Gosh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, you guys, it doesn't matter. 